The African aviation market has been booming in recent years, attracting a growing number of foreign investors. Ghana's Africa World Airlines, registered in 2010, is a joint venture by Ghanaian and Chinese investors. CCTV Zule visited the company as part of our Rediscovering Africa series. For many people in Ghana, traveling by air is becoming an easier and more affordable experience. As the first African civil airline invested in by a Chinese company, AWA has already captured half of the aviation market in Ghana and has become one of the most popular regional airlines in West Africa. Mensima Wamot flies to Kumasi in central southern Ghana several times a week. And Africa World Airlines is always her first option. Thank you. The service is good. I like the way the plane is. It's not crowded, so we get our, our space in the plane. And I travel with my son. We are always given priority to get on board, and the air hostess makes sure we are buckled in before we sit down, so I'm okay. Co-ventured by China's HNA Group, the China Africa Development Fund, Ghana's Social Security and National Insurance Trust, and Ghana's SAS Finance Group. AWA started operations in 2012 with Embraer 145 jets. After over three years' expansion, their travel routes have increased from one at the very beginning to 22 scheduled domestic and international flights per day. And over 98 percent of its total 216 staff are Ghanaian. Total of one hour, 20 minutes. You know, Chief pilot Kwasi Autumn is grateful for Chinese shareholders who gave him opportunity to put his training to good use. And he is very optimistic about AWA's future. We had the support from the HNA group is what made uh, the difference. It gave me the confidence that we will have the financial backing, we will have the support and the good direction to be one of the best carriers in, uh, in Ghana. And I believe at the moment we are the best carrier in Ghana. In addition to its strong financial support, AWA also inherited the strict safety management and service standards of Hainan Airlines. It is a good safety management and good service that helped the airline win the award of domestic airline for 2014 from the Ghana Tourism Authority. They have a um, safety management system in place, which is a very good culture uh, that prompts the workers to be safety conscious and everybody to contribute towards safety. During his visit to Africa in 2014, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said Beijing encourages Chinese enterprises to form joint ventures with their African counterparts to improve Africa's regional aviation industry. As a forerunner of such cooperation, AWA is now aiming higher. CEO Luo Cheng has ambitious plans for the future of the airline. We will not let AWA develop on its own. We must use all the resources Hainan Airlines has to build our own route network in West Africa, South Africa and East Africa as early as possible. Having a whole African network, we can co-chair with the major cross-state routes of Hainan Airlines to build a global travel network. This will largely improve our competitiveness. From co-founded airlines, airport construction to aircraft manufacturing, a growing number of African countries, including Ghana, Kenya and South Africa, are now hoping to expand aviation cooperation with China. Luo Cheng said there were six local airlines in Ghana in 2013, but now only AWA and Stabo are the surviving players. He plans to convince all the shareholders to introduce bigger plans and open more routes in the years to come. During the past three years, almost 430,000 passengers have taken Africa World Airlines. As the commercial aviation market takes flight in Ghana and West Africa, both Chinese and Ghanaian shareholders are optimistic. They expect more air travel will bring closer connectivity and more investment opportunities to Ghana and beyond. Bule, CCTV at the Accra Kotoka International Airport, Ghana.